All right, guys, this is Total Justice Gaming. We're having a fun match. Uh, Joe built a Dern doll, and I finally made the toilet deck. And it's, it's pretty close. I got a few more cards to order for it, but other than that, it's, it's fun. Uh, also, to make note, neither one of us has ever played a Legend World deck. So, Take that back. I, I think I played Heroes a long time ago. Uh, this is pretty much Mr. Swirly versus Durin Okay. Whatever. And dice roll. That's how I think it's fun. I'm on the play. Alright, so I got it. Yeah, that's pretty Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna get the first. So that means that. Char. Seems legit. Alright, um. Alright, so. Top three cards. One, two, three. Pay two gauge. Exit the toilet. I didn't do it with the smoke Alright, um, right, so this thing is uh, every time I'm attacked, I put a soul from it into the drop zone. Its counter is uh, if there are no souls in it, I can put it in the drop zone and summon or a toilet from the drop zone on my hand. Okay. By paying it to call. Call. Summon a monster. So why are those already in your drop zone? Those are the two gauge from the equipment. Okay. It's top three cards and pay two gauge to equip it. Okay. And I don't have any exercise two. And then. Slightly upsetting. I guess this is all over. Well, that's first turn anyway, so attack for two. No. Uh, yeah. I love that card. Alright, I just got shit on. Go. Yeah. Your turn. Draw. I still remember the old one, but I probably should Charge and draw. But it, it's free, so. And we will. Quip. Did you say free is um, amazing? Regal, so, Regal Sword of the King, Joseph, Joe, you said? I okay. guess, guess that's how it's pronounced. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get you. I know what's going on. Yes. This is what happened. This is what happened. Jordan, now is this pronounced? Joe, you say? Is that the Korean? Is that the Korean? Japanese? Juicy. All right, let's keep going. We're good. All right, so it's it's a three one, and what does it do when it attacks? Choose a hero item from the drop zone. Pay a game. Just discard from the hand if you do. Put the chosen card in. Okay, that works. All right. Okay. Uh, then to the left, we we'll call Young. What does he do? Uh, five and nine with Sword of the King in the sand. He becomes a pretty three. Alright, and that's the Sword of the King? Yeah, they're all Sword of the King. All the blue ones in the back. No way! It's like you planned this. Kind of. Douchebag. Oh. I want to take a break from the brain. I've been playing all day with Gear Guys. I gotta rest. Joy use. So, joy use, basically. It translates to joy use. I want to see this toilet right now. The skeleton butler or something. It's so fast. It's so fast. It's so fast. It's so fast. Now, does Hanako come out with counter speed? Uh, I can, yes. Okay. Yeah, those thing letters that come out with counter speed. I, I managed to mill them. It's a counter. He can call it. And then when she enters, she destroys all his cards. And I'm going to do the draw cards. So, hey, Gage. Call Lancelot, and it is I would not that, but top card of the deck in the soul. I'm still running. I'm still running. Uh, it gets 1,000 for each different hero world in my drop zone. Hero. I'm going to say hero world a whole bunch. That's going to be my big issue on this. Hero world. Toilet power. All right, so 3D. All right, so let's see. Automatically, you're attacking me, so one of these gets discarded. This goes here. Do you have to take damage? Uh, no, it's just when you attack me. I can still nullify the attack, it's just... So it's three? Yes. That's two and that's one. Does that have double attack? Yes. Uh, hold on though. Uh, choose monster on your opponent's field. I can discard a hero if I do. I can destroy the chosen and then he gets double attack. Okay, so it does not. Alright, so then I will... 
I know. Hey, Gage. I can only do it during the attack on the opponent's turn, so I want to nullify this one, and then if I have a toilet on my field, put a soul from a card on the field and drop it. That card is kind of Oh, yeah, that's right. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, I'll remove this card. You only have one. I'll remove your soul. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so like far about five. Because it's free. Yeah, I had to put that, put that in there and then I had to count all the way around. Alright, continue. So, TDM. It's an automatic ditch. It makes it a fast six until I don't. Which one? Take two? One? Uh, take one. Does that stay like that? Yeah, it's I, it's a it's a counteract. I get to choose when to do it. If it was down, that's the Okay. Just making sure that pizza is valuable to somebody. Please good draw. Yeah, me. Oh, I have You should have been. So I felt like you mean to get as soon as he walked in. I actually don't have to. Hey, Mitch. Oh, Whitman Chang. I ran 4 4 and 3 of the balance. Hey, Mitch. Hey, Mitch. He, hey, he can't swing with an item again if he's already swinging. If he just equipped no, 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 it, that's no, 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 no. He can't, like, I know it's the equipment chain, but, like, I thought you couldn't swing with an item twice. It's not the same just, item. I know, but he just equipped it that time. So, it's counter speed equipped. That's why this is what this deck does, Trey. He's supposed to equipment change into it during the battle phase to get another round. I know, but if he just equipped Jordan. the previous item, is the question. Explain how this works real quick. Can you equip an item and then equipment change? So, Joe the had the joys, whatever that word like you were talking about. Counter, you can equip the change. And then he can attack with it, right? Because yeah. that's what it's it does. That's the, yeah, that's what the whole deck does. But I thought you couldn't do that unless it was with the. Because that was like the transforming thing that we went into with the freaking. With Zeta? Yeah. But Zeta's it's not, the same principle. But Zeta. I don't think your attack, counter, triggers, and battle phase, change, well, equipment change, and then you attack again. Well, that's different because equipment change is the key word that does. That's different. Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's what the whole deck's about. That's so you get. That, even before these cards came out, there was another one that came from hand, and you have four different heroes. Yeah, the the Red Arthur setup combo with the <laughs> sword. Yeah, that's what the whole thing is supposed to be about. Just... So, TDM. Gauntlet. It doesn't have double tech, though, so that's pretty good. I thought it did. Is that a different sword? Yeah, it might be. Uh, you have Hand of Life. Yeah, that's, that's the Excalibur. The original, Excalibur, yeah, Excalibur has, has double, double tattoo. That's the sword that says yeah. this card holy grail. I thought he had uh, double tattoo because that's no. what remains. Because no, I'm not saying this, but I thought another one had another Durandal. No, the other Durandal just said they can't be destroyed by uh, card effects. That's okay, one, that's one of those. This one says all my heroes can't be destroyed. Yeah. So yeah, so he can't destroy it with effects. So he kind of just pooped on your. <laughs> he pooped on your Hanukkah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, he's so funny. I guess it's your turn. I don't know if Joe was done or not. I don't know. Yeah, I'm good. I guess he was done then. Uh -huh. this, this whole video is going to be terrible because everybody's just talking making poop jokes. Well, I mean, we're going to get him in the comments too about uh, That's not cool about. stuff. Well, that I mean, and we knew the poop jokes were coming because this is the 12. Make that, I like that noise. Do it again. Poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> Oh, this is terrible. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if there's owls right. or toilets. Oh, I don't have you didn't have enough last week either. The I like the That's what you always crazy. say. I never have enough alcohol. Okay. No, there's never, <laughs> there's never enough. I'm going to get my buddy. What's his name? Skull Dandy. Dandy. He's got a long name. His name's got to be something better than that. Skeletal Specimen Skull Dandy. Okay, there you go. How about Reginald Rathbone the Third? I'm okay with not calling it that. I got a bone from the third. What? That know. was weird. That's, that's, that's so bad. Joey, shut up. Stay over there with, your two, with the $200. <laughs> hey, I cut the deck, please. Huh? You think less of him? <laughs> I do. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> How could you think less of him? Like, yeah, I'm going to hit rock bottom already. <laughs> My opinion was already a little low. Right? Ah, you know, your mind's always low with you. Oh. I'm short, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that joke was... <laughs> Wow, he just that, that joke was poop. Alright, um... Your mom's poop. 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 <laughs> poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> this whole table is on my nerves. Poop. <laughs> Alright, uh, buddy call. So, What's his name? What's his name? Skull Dandy Douchebag. Alright, right. so when he enters the field, the gentleman escort ability activates a uh, mill three. If there's at least one fairy, I get to draw a card. Yeah, look uh, all three fairies. Is it really a fairy? 
How's the toilet up, Barry? Explain this to me. Barry, man. I think you are. Barry's got to use the toilet, too. Yeah, but it's just, that don't have to toilet up, Barry. Yeah. That's really retarded. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to throw up in the I'm a pay of life darkness ruin. Uh, I did it, Mom. The uh, top two guards of my deck in the gauge. I thought you had a thing that you ruined. Okay. Um, pay a gauge, call the professor. Okay. Uh, let me see what I got here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, ten, eleven. I love it. So I need one more. That's not even jealousy. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, is it when it enters the field? No, it's not when it's to activate. So I'm just trying to figure out how to do it correctly. Um, you want to tell what the, view, the viewers at home what it does? I will when I activate its ability. That's the douchebag part. I didn't realize he was here. I didn't realize he was hero world. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the dude from the hero world impact, the professor. That's it goes for him. Oh, okay. There's an impact monster that came out with an impact. Can he work in hero world or not? Uh, yeah, it just says you have to put different cards from your drops on, so this has to be different cards. Oh, okay, so I figured out. Let me actually play that in the uh, right, um, Rangers. It does something different. You have to actually read so it. He'll tell you what it does in second, because it does a lot of different stuff, actually. Call over Dandy. Uh, her skill, when she enters, I can add an item back to my hand. Okay. Yeah, get the toilet done. All right, so now I know I have enough. Alright, so as long as I have 12, 12 is all that matters. Right. Yeah. 12 different. So, um, we are going to uh, activate Minjo's skill. So I put at least, it's an activability, I put at least four more cards from my drop zone back to my deck. Different cards. And for four, I get to. Top card, top two cards in my deck in my gauge. If I put eight, I get to put, draw a card, and then if I put twelve or more, I get to search my deck for any one card, add to my hand, shuffle the deck afterwards. So um, I'm gonna get twelve different cards real quick. I'll put them back. Um, let's see. All right, so uh, actually we want to keep you just in case. That one, that one, that one. That's three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, twelve. All right. So I'll put those twelve to the bottom of the deck, and it's in any order. It really don't matter to me because I'm about to shuffle the deck. All right. So first effect, gauge two. Second effect, draw one. Third effect, search my deck for the one card I want. Um, I don't know what time I'll be having on. Uh, I'll add this. Alright, uh, cut this. Alright, uh, now let's see, since I have six or less life, I'm going to symbol guard, uh, pay gauge, I get to draw two. Um, Alright, so this has a potential of working. Uh, cast elixir, uh, whatever this is. Uh, top card of my deck, engage, and I gain a life. Okay. Um, Alright, uh, enter in battle. Okay. Alright, so what does the sword say exactly? I can't destroy him by card effects? Correct. So I can still attack him? Yes. Alright, so, um, self attacks, one on one. Uh, upon the attack destroying, I'm gonna cast the guard. I'm gonna just put this monster in the drop zone. I get the top card of my deck in my gauge and I draw a card. <laughs> Um, attack for two to you. I will play Light of Guidance, cast, put the top card of my deck in my gauge, and next time we don't damage, reduce to zero. Okay. Uh, then her trigger ability activates. When it's discarded from my hand, I can pay a gauge mm -hmm. and destroy a size two or less on the field. Uh, okay, that works. Um, attack you for two at the toilet. 
Yeah. Uh, trigger toilet skill. Uh, there's no soul in it. I'm gonna destroy it. Or no, I put it in the field. And I call up the one toilet monster from my hand and drops on my pants. I will get uh, Heineco out. Her skill is she can only come into play by the toilet. Um, uh, Alright, so she has triple attack, so attack for two. Two. Uh, tip for game. Alright, game two. Mm -hmm. Out of, I've had probably about an hour of test play with just figuring out the hands. I haven't even got to play against anybody full game every time I just stop for tournament. I know what few cards I need to make the deck better. It seems fun to me. Oh no, it's it's working, but like it would move faster because like it takes a little bit. I should be able to mill. The deck's supposed to mill really fast to where you can abuse the Minjo, the Professor, and then you can search the drop zone for stuff that you need. Uh, I don't know about this deck at all. <laughs> that deck's, it's, I never, I mean, it's, it's, I like, it's a good deck, it's just you have to get used to it. Like, it's one of those things, like, I'm not super fan of it either way. I mean, it's a good deck regardless, but like, it's, I, it's just not one that I would play a lot. Eight. All right. All right. So let's see. Dice roll. Uh, Me. You. Okay. Charge. Draw. Pay a gauge. Uh, set a fleeting dream. Size 2, Legend 1 monster, and just playing call up to one size 1 or less monster from my deck by its call cost, and shuffle my deck. Okay. So when you play one from hand, you get to search the deck and just call one? Is that what it said again? I think so. Yeah, size 2 okay. or greater. Alright, I got you. And then we'll set uh, hero base, Castle Camelot. Uh, when a hero enters the field, mm -hmm. or when you equip an item, put the top card of your deck... Uh, Put the top card of my deck into my drop zone, and put the top card of my deck. How it is? Put the top card of my deck in my drop zone. Put the top card of my deck in my gauge. Okay. When it's destroyed, put up to one hero item or a holy grail from my drop zone to my hand. Okay, gotcha. So, <laughs> this deck has very little defense. So I that. To play Oberon because that's my own choice. We'll use its ability first. Can I read Oberon? Yeah, sure. Um, so seven or more hero or fairy in your drop zone. Nullify hero and fairy. Wait, seven or more hero and fairy. Oh, my card's heroes too. Is that? Could be how it broke. Why would Oberon be using this deck if you have to have hero and fairy? I have to ask Jordan how this works. Um, Mulfa the ability is almost from the most. Oh! Seems legit. It's got double attack. Wow. Okay. I uh, shall cut this there. there. Uh, then that one triggers. Top one and then gauge one? Yeah. Alright. Then we'll equip. Okie dokie. This is the same one from last time. Right. Yep. Oh, and you would happen to have that in the drop zone. <clears throat> That's annoying. Well, you don't have the equip cost though, because if you pay the gauge for that. Okay. So you need more gauge. Okay. Ready? Do I have anything in my industry please? I do not. What? That's. I hate putting out Oberon so early, but I need to have... Yeah, I understand. I would. Yeah, I, I figured there must have been something, because yeah, I wouldn't mm -hmm. drop it until you, all the effects would be in play. Uh, wait, I can... can I Legit. Alright, um... Pay gauge. Call the toilet paper. 
toilet paper allows me to search for toilet. So I will search for the toilet. Because without the toilet, we cannot win games. I think the toilet's like the staple of the day. I haven't won a game yet without the toilet, so I've actually lost games if I don't get the toilet. Like, I've played them out, and like, if I don't have the toilet within the first two turns, there's no way I win this game. The toilet is the purpose of the deck. So, um, what else was I doing? Oh yeah, we were going to do this stuff. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do that way. That would be correct, right? Maybe? Um... Alright, so, top three cards in my deck, one, two, and three, that's unfortunate, there's an impact there. Pay to gauge, equip the toilet. The toilet of ultimate flushing. Alright, um, that was bad. Alright, um, I was coughing, that was insane. I'm just scooting it over because there's a really bad glare. That's fine, I understand. Um, let's see, what else am I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to... Boop. So mill three. If there's at least one fairy, there's a fairy right there. So I'll just mill the other two. And then um, oh, there's Hanukkah. That's good. I draw a card. All right. Now what do I got to play? Um, that seems pretty legit. But I need gauge. Apparently, that's how this deck works. Um, so. I think I'll have to wait. So, um, all right. So, in your battle, mm -hmm. so you have seven thousand fence. That is an ungodly unfair number. Um, with toilets, because toilets are all weakest. What, what game is this? Game two. All right. Uh, what game? What one game? One. Toilets one. Yeah, apparently. He yeah he got Hanukkah and sweat me. I got four attacks in one turn. Well, um, I, I, like I don't get that. I get seven attacks per turn. I did it with two cards. I did it with. One card. No, you didn't. Come on, if you want to play that. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, one on one. Um, attempt to link attack four on seven. Yeah. Um, your turn. Draw. But oh well. Oh, he gives you gauge? Yeah, he gives me gauge. Oh, that's cool. Um, Alright, so let's see. Automatic. I have to discard. I have to mill one. Um, let's see. Right now, I'm sitting on one of, of those cards. Which means I will get that one next. So that was still there. Alright, so I lose that automatically. <laughs> and. Alright, so I'm going to take the two and I'm going to cast this. I'm going to put him in the drop zone. I'm going to get a gauge and I'm going to draw a card. Alright, keep. Oh, sorry. My fault. Uh, one game. Uh, 
Because I feel like you're messing with the I don't want ball. No, 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 no. Oh. All right. Um. So let's see. I lose the soul on my mm -hmm. and then uh, I will pay one to nullify it. And then since uh, I have a toilet on the field, I'm gonna remove the soul from the toilet. Okay. <laughs> so keep going, buddy. Let's see what is separate. Um, I think these are doubles. Yeah. All right. So I have one of each of these cards. So equipment change. Yeah. Body call. All right. Well, then it goes back. Yeah. That's gross. I see one of those videos. All right. That's gross. 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 That's <laughs> so I have ten total. All right. Um. So I have way too many of these. Charge and roll. Uh, now I have too many of these. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you say? Yeah. 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 Show me. This is, well, this is on his turn, but this is for next turn. Yeah. So if I swing this, yeah. do this, and then do its counter going, that's all people when I get to attack. It's not with it. It's just a quick change. The Durandal literally says uh, counter free. You attack with this one, then that. No. This is already on the field. Yeah. So this because it's counter, I'm going to use its counter speed. Though. Is that legal? Can you this is the one that has to come from hand. If this is on board, this can't come out during battle. Well, I'm using like, equipment change, which this puts this back to my phase. During main phase. During main phase? Yeah, equipment change is only main phase. Okay, so this is the only counter speed. Yes. Okay, that's why I asked. That's why I was asking. Sorry, I didn't want to do anything yes. wrong. I didn't realize equipment changes uh, main phase. Yeah. I've never played a deck with equipment It's the only deck with equipment change. Alright, so let's see. I guess because I need to put different cards on here. Uh, let's see. I charged and drew. So I'm going to cast this uh, Nauseous Guard. Uh, so I discard a card from my hand. So I'm going to discard this to select a zero from my drop zone and add it back to my hand. I'm going to mm -hmm. add my buddy back. Well, right, so it puts me at 11. And then uh, I will call Mill 3. Mm -hmm. There's at least a fairy. Uh, there's a fairy. Uh, that one's the last one. These are the same. Uh, draw a card. Um, I will pay a gauge call over with Tinjo. The professor. Um, mm -hmm. Use his skill. Uh, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 total different ones that I can put back. I'm going to keep this one down here. So these will go back. I get all the abilities. Top two cards of the game. So 1, 2, draw 1, and then I search my deck for any one card. Um, this moment. What do I have in my hand? I guess will be the key to playing this out correctly. Oh, I have that. So. Do I still have one of those in here? I was going to ask you. Yeah. Uh, how much are green karate gauntlets? Oh. I'll explain later. Okay. There's but apparently like, a joke here that I'm missing. No, there is not a joke. She wasn't like your girlfriend was like. Those two, so the card I get would have to be this. So that should work, yeah. All right, so I'll grab this one. All right, we're gonna see how this works. All right, uh, cut phone, bud. All right. Um, yeah, that's fine, thank you. Um, all right, so in your battle. Mm -hmm. All right, so attack you for one. Pink. Attack you for two. 
Attack, attack you for two. Uh, trigger skill. Uh, honey pill from the drop. Uh, we'll put it. Just in case this goes bad. Uh, size difference is dodge. This has to go, but it's summoning her. Um, attack you for two. Two. Attempt to win. What is that? Top card you're decking your game. Oh, okay. I got you. And the only thing I got left is Funnel Bees. If I have her, I pay two gauge and deal three damage. What's the name of this card? Okay. Dragged by the toilet. You gotta say, Joe, you've been dragged by the toilet. Okay. Joe, you've been dragged by the toilet. Take it to the Shadow Realm. Toilet. For all eternity. Shadow Realm of infinite shit. Alright. Whoa, bop.